well, burrito stains. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today's video is a quick one. It is fall time. We're finally getting away from that heat, getting into the fall weather. Now, if you're in San Diego, there is no such thing as fall weather, but I am gonna give you five places to go check out where you can experience fall weather. These are not ranked in the order of importance. They're just five different places, depending on what you want, you should go check out. Let's jump into that first one. First place is gonna be Mount Laguna, and specific hikes that I'm gonna recommend here would be like Monument Peak via the PCT, or Big Laguna and Agua Dulce Loop, especially Agua Dulce. I've seen it get really, really beautiful on that loop. Cooler temperatures, pine forests, meadows create a beautiful fall atmosphere. Really awesome spot for stargazing as well if you stay into the evening, but keep in mind here, you'll wanna hike more towards the forest side away from the cliffs like Garnett where you would overlook the desert. Second place you're gonna to wanna to go is Cuyamaca, which is right next to it. Recommended hikes here are gonna be Cuyamaca Peak via the Azalea Glen Loop, that is a fantastic loop, and Stonewall Mine and Lake Cuyamaca via Marty Minshaw Trail. The Marty Minshaw Trail gets really, really beautiful. Now again, Cuyamaca is really just on the other side, it is the state park all in the Cleveland National Forest. Another high altitude location with changing leaves, especially around Lake Cuyamaca. The cooler fall air makes for ideal hiking weather and you can experience some beautiful fall foliage. Are you guys sensing a pattern here? We're getting away into the mountains to get that fall experience here in San Diego, which leads us to the third drive past Cuyamaca and Mount Laguna. You're gonna get into Julia. Now this is our mountain town here. Great for winter weather, but I also recommend for fall. There is one hike here, Vulcan Mountain. A couple different ways to do it, but that is a fantastic hike to do especially in the fall time, it gets really, really beautiful. And then you can stop by Julian, get some pie, some food on the way back. Now the fourth place is gonna be Palomar Mountain. For those that know, Palomar Mountain is the closest thing we have to the Sierras here down in San Diego. It is one of the few places where you'll really see the change in the leaves that fall weather, the cooler mountain air and dense forests offer a true fall experience. Here I am gonna recommend anything around Th Thunder Spring, Chimney Flats, Scott's Calving, Cedar Trails, really anything at that elevation will be absolutely gorgeous. Would really recommend you check it out. Now the fifth one is gonna be in the city of San Diego itself. It's not gonna be as exciting, but you will see that fall, you know, fall kicking in, that change in leaves and the colors, and that is gonna be Los Penasquitos Canyon Preserve. This lowland hike offers easy access and a pleasant autumn atmosphere in the way that the canyon is located with sycamore trees turning a bit golden. Creek and waterfall at the halfway point are also refreshing and add to that fall experience. This trail is very popular and really suitable for all hikers. I have two different trail guides that get you to the falls. Make sure you check those out here. So those are the five places I recommend you check out if you're looking to get some fall hiking in, get that fall weather, get your pumpkin spice lattes, and uh, really just enjoy the outdoors. Uh, San Diego, again, weather's nice, but we don't get the seasons here, so we gotta do a little bit of work. Before people even comment, oh, well, I've been to Mission Trails and the leaves turn orange. Yes, they do. That would be a sixth option. If you wanna go to Mission Trails, feel free to do so, but I don't recommend it, um, I don't know, because it sucks. 